What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. So today we're going to be checking out 10 different mods that go great in survival worlds and they make the game so much more fun and so different. I would definitely recommend checking these out if you're a little bored of vanilla Minecraft. So if you enjoyed today's video be sure to drop a like and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe. Let's start off today with the storage drawers mod. This is obviously a storage mod and you can put full stacks of blocks into these and also put upgrades on the drawers. There's also different kinds of drawers you can make and to take out blocks you can either right click or shift right click for the full stack. So this is definitely a cool mod, uh, especially if you're trying to interior decorate a house and you want to be able to see the items in each thing, this is definitely the way to go. The drawers come in all different kinds of wood so you can definitely match it to anything in your house. The next mod we have for you guys is the waypoint mod. So as you can see I just teleported. In this case I have them set up pretty close together but they will work anywhere across the entire world so you don't have to worry about running back to a base as long as you either find or have one of these waypoint blocks. You can also use the waypoint scroll to teleport to any of those waypoints. Next up we have the sophisticated backpacks mod. So this is obviously a backpack mod and there's tons of different upgrades and different backpacks with different sizes. Uh, some of the upgrades that you can use I'm showing off here are the crafting, the smelting, and the pickup. So the pickup, you can uh, put what blocks you want to be able to pick up straight into the backpack instead of your inventory. The smelting one will automatically smelt anything in your inventory, even if it's different blocks. So if you have gold ore and iron ore, it will smelt all of that. Next up, we have the Traveler's Index mod. So this is more of a mod just to track your progress and things you've collected throughout the world. Uh, and as you can see, it will bring up each different mod that you have installed and the different blocks that are in those mods. You can see every single block that is in the game and if you've collected or not. So this is a great way to track your progress and see what you've done so far in your world. I would definitely recommend this if you really like to track your progress and want to see everything you've collected and maybe collect everything in the game. Next up we have the Antique Atlas mod. So this is a mod uh, that adds a map to Minecraft that looks as if it's hand drawn. I think this is a great mod if you want a map but don't want to use one of the other map mods that are available. This one looks so cool and you can add waypoints and things like that to make it even cooler. The map will track you if you want it to but you can also free roam the map and see where different waypoints and things like that are. This is definitely the best looking map out there and I would definitely recommend using this in your survival world. This would pair great with the waypoint mod and you can mark different lodestones that you have around and use those to teleport around to your, to your base and wherever else in your world. There's different types of waypoints so you can mark where you died, where there's mobs, things like that. And it is also very easy to craft. All you need is a book and a compass to craft this and then you have your atlas. It also allows you to export a picture of the atlas, so if you have a really cool map, you can export that as a picture and keep it forever. Next up, we have one of the most important mods for Survival Minecraft, and that is the Corpse mod. So, I think I've actually shown this one off before in a mod video, but basically, if you die, it will leave a corpse with all your stuff in it and protect your items. So, you no longer have to worry about the time and you can transfer over your inventory automatically. The corpse is affected by gravity however, so you're going to want to be careful not to die over any lava or over the void. But if you die just in the overworld on land, you'll be completely fine and can acquire your stuff. The next mod that we have for you guys is a complete change to the end. This is the better end mod and as you can see just from the surrounding void, it is already way cooler. Uh, there are a ton of new blocks and new biomes that you can explore. Uh, there's a lot of new ores, armors, things like that, and there's even better than netherite armor. Here you can see some of the biomes that they have. This is an amber biome, and there's amber grass, and helix tree bark. So there's definitely a lot of new blocks and a lot of things to explore with this mod. If you've ever wanted to be able to acquire wood in the end, this is definitely a great mod for that, and it just looks very cool. I've always thought that the end is a little dull, so this is a great mod especially for me who wants a little more and things to explore in the actual end when I get out to those cities. The cities also look very cool. Some of them are trapped in biomes, you can find some freestanding, but this is obviously something you're going to find in this new mod. 
New end biomes aren't the only thing we're gonna explore though. I've just spawned into this world and as you can see it is completely different. This is the Biomes of Plenty mod. This is a very cool biome mod, there are a lot of them out there, but this one adds a ton of new biomes and a ton of new blocks. Uh, as you can see there are tons of willow trees here, and the old biomes all still exist, but there are more to explore. All the new woods make it very cool, you can also find mud, which makes a lot of sense considering we're in a swamp biome. So now, instead of finding 16 different plain biomes, when you're traveling your world, you'll find a ton of other new biomes, and it just adds a lot of variety to the game. As you can see right there, there is a huge field of barley, which is also a new addition to the game, and that brings us to one of our other mods that we have for you today. This is the Swinging Through Grass mod. It is a very small change to the game, but is so important. Now, instead of hitting the grass, you'll actually be able to hit any mobs that you can see through the grass. So as you can see, I'm killing chickens and not hitting any of the surrounding grass around me. So it's a super small feature that's been added, but it is so important to the game because if you've ever been in one of those uh, grass fields, you'll know that it's really hard to hit mobs and can actually end up killing you. Here you can also see some of the other biomes that you can find in Biomes of Plenty. We have a cherry tree biome and a redwood biome. I think that the redwood biome actually looks insanely cool and also very realistic if you've ever seen a real redwood forest. The woods are also very cool and definitely can add a lot of variety to your building. So if you have some redwood or some cherry wood, it's going to look a lot better on some of your builds and can make it more fun to play just such a beautiful forest. The next mod that we have for you guys is the Valhesia Structures mod. This mod adds a ton of new structures to the game that you can find randomly anywhere. It adds castles, little ruins, things like that, and just make it more fun to search and explore your world. There are also player houses that can spawn and you can find, which are actually great starter houses to live in if you manage to find one right off the start. And we actually found one really close to our spawn here, and it looks amazing. It's definitely a very nice build and it comes with a lot of things on the inside to help you get started. This is also a great RPG mod if you're just trying to find some new structures and things like that in your world. This one adds iron armor and chainmail armor if you're needing some early game armor and gives you bed and bookshelves to help get you started there. And that concludes our list of the 10 best survival mods for your world. Definitely check these ones out. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We put out a lot of different content, included modded Minecraft, Hermitcraft videos, and all sorts of other things. So go ahead and check out our channel, and I'll see you next time.